and Miami back in business with a first and goal at the Green Bay four. Marino in the end zone touchdown. Rookie Farrell Edmonds. Coming from the right of his screen, another rookie tight end. Brian Kinchin stops, spins. Green Bay's looking at him. Play fake. Marino knows where he wants to go right away. There he is. Farrell Edmonds. You know, they brought Davenport out of the backfield. They get two men over there, one and one, and he's so big in the end zone. Here's a guy that's 6'6, six, six, a great. Miami tight end has ever had a better rookie season than Farrell Edmonds. His 33 catches earned him. This is a 250-pound tight end outrunning everybody. 21 points in a matter of about seven for a defense where, watch McMillan, he plays back in the middle, but he doesn't rotate far enough. McMillan, 22. And when Farrell Edmonds makes the catch, all of a sudden, he shows tremendous foot speed. 80 yards, by far his longest reception of the year as a matter of... 88. Back is Marino to throw. Across the middle, wide open, Edmonds, he's going to pull away, 40, 35, 30, touchdown Miami, and there are no flags. No, my pass. Second down goal to get. to the outside, but it's the run after the catch that makes all the difference. Alex Gordon, number 55, trying to bulldog him all the way in from the five-yard line. Not a chance. The tree. Dolphins from the Cincinnati Bengals in the plan B free agency. Second and five. Clayton in motion. Double pass. All alone, a flag is down. The pass is complete in the end zone. To Farrell Edmonds, it was a lateral, so that meant that Jensen could throw the touchdown pass. However, there was a marker at the seventh. Got to wonder if perhaps there was an offensive interference call in there somewhere. Holding defense. Holding Fair defense. Man. All right. Well, the, the touchdown will stand. That's the kind of flexibility you can get when you have two quarterbacks in the same backfield. There's the lateral. They have to throw that behind the line of scrimmage, and at that point, you can throw the second pass. And Farrell Edmonds, see how that was done. Now, you just, you're worried about these defensive backs. They read, pass, or run on this situation as the ball is thrown to the outside. Farrell Edmonds all by himself down into the corner. Here it is. Marino takes the ball. Laterals to the outside. Edmonds stumbled briefly, but nobody around. Look how open he is in the end zone. Benson, number 54, 59, Clifton. The Behind to make the catch. Play started uh, on the own eight yard line, their own eight, and uh, Marino has got a touchdown to Edmonds. So a long Miami drive that started at the eight yard line 
culminates in another touchdown pass by Marino. This one to his tight end. Here's how they got the touchdown. Well, right here, Walker Lee Ashley is supposed to cover number 80, Farrell Edmonds. And you can see by that angle, he's in a chase position right now. And he bites on the fake. Ashley does just enough to allow Edmonds to get wide open in the corner of the end zone. There's Edmonds again, number 80. Ashley just didn't have a chance that time, Tom. Impressive drive. That's Tom Catlin. We're just looking at the defensive coordinator for the Seattle Seahawks. Will his defense come up big on fourth and inches. Fourth and less than a yard. Marino throwing. Edmonds wide open. He's got it. Touchdown Miami. Julian Marino. The great thing about that call by Don Shula was the fact that had Marino not had Farrell Edmonds open, he could have run for the first down. You had an option on the play. It wasn't just one of those things. Miami all set to run. Watch number 50, Dave Aarons. He's faked out by the play. Now, Marino running, he has a chance to either run for the first down or throw to Edmonds for the touchdown. And the wise thing that he did. has played only on special teams and in short yardage and Edmonds a great target at 6-6 catches the touchdown throw from Marino the play wasn't there the play fake didn't work Edmonds is covered it takes a, a real shot by Marino to get the ball there what they do with it here's the pass play it is caught by Farrell Edmonds for a touchdown Farrell Edmonds touchdown sent the game to overtime coming up at the one yard line. There's Marino, throws in the end zone. Caught for a touchdown. The two loads, 235 pounds each. You can never overlook that ability of Dan just to let it go. And I'll tell you, this is a great call for the reason we just said. You're going to get your key right off the fullback. They bring him back inside, and they roll him. Here comes Farrell Edmonds across behind the deepest back for the touchdown. And here's the beauty of a play like this. They're going to, you're going to take your key off the back. See him coming back. The backers are flowing right here. See the backers flowing? They have to respect this man right here. Now they fake the ball, and he's going to roll back, and that allows enough time for Edmonds to get behind the coverage because of the play action, and that's six points. What do you do when you have Dan Marino out there all by himself? I'll tell you what you do. You never let him know that you don't have something. See, Dan, I'm still here. Don't get away. 
Yeah, see, that's great. See, Dan Marino knows. He's been in enough of those situations. Everybody set in tight up front. Here's Marino, bootlegs, rolls to his right, throws the end zone wide open for the touchdown is Farrell Edmonds. Back on the baseline of the end zone. Recovers for the Seahawks. Third and goal from the fourth. Watch Rick Meyer. You saw Bledsoe earlier. Watch Meyer. Patient and touch. He's cool. He's calm. He throws the touchdown to Farrell Edmonds. Rick Meyer here looking right, looking left, coming back, buying time. And But then, as you said, Chris, the nice... In 1993,